I use my relationships kind of like a mirror to see how I'm doing with myself and sometimes well that's I, a good thing to recognize because everything that is happening around you is an accurate replication of your vibration okay and one of the things that people commonly do with relationships is that they try to match themselves to those people and what they want instead of to their own inner being and what feels good in other words if you allow it you will let people train you away from your own guidance by trying to please them and that's really what goes wrong with most relationships if you have a relationship no matter what kind with someone and you care what they think so you start playing to them you start being as you think they want you to be and ignoring your own sense of self ignoring your own emotional guidance and just doing so that you do the things that make them smile and praise you and you try to avoid the things that make them frown and criticize you you train yourself so far from who you really are that then that's what all this stuff outside the vortex is that we were talking about you see most everybody's trying to fix the relationships outside the vortex and can't be done have you ever had somebody who wanted something from you and so you beat it you found a way to become it and then they wanted something just a little more or different so you became that too and then they wanted something just a little more indifference so you became that too and then they saw someone else and went away <laughs> and you think gee you molded me into the perfection of your dream and now you're gone how can this be and what we're wanting you to realize is anytime you are trying to modify yourself from feedback that you're getting from other people there's a hundred percent chance that you are being trained away from your own guidance system oh that makes sense makes a lot of sense now the the problem or the challenge that i'm having i mean i i want to be happy all the time or as much as possible i'm an uplifter and i want to uplift the people that i'm with or in, in this case my girlfriend but sometimes i give so much love which is comes so naturally from me and then i don't get that back and then well but you see here's the thing that's squirrely about that if you were in the vortex giving all that love you wouldn't be noticing it not coming back whoops <laughs> the, the only time you would notice it not coming back is if you're outside the vortex depending on it to resource you looking for love in all the wrong places you're so right we always are right. <laughs> because we have the benefit of full view we know the laws we know the vortex we know your vortex we know your relationship to it so what could I do I mean how how could I use the, the the vortex example or how can I do pivoting when I feel that way when I have let's say a challenge in a relationship with my girlfriend or, or work relationship well, or whatever here's the thing it's what we were talking about earlier so let's say something happened and you're not getting back what you feel that you're giving out so you're beginning to feel resentful and you're out of the vortex so then think about what steps you go through when you're outside the vortex then you confront the other and then you talk about it and then you point out how good you've been and then you point out how bad she's been and then you remember other relationships and then she remembers other relationships and then you talk about your childhood and then you talk about other relationships that you've seen and then you talk about this book that you've read and this movie that you've seen and then you remember that this same thing happened in that relationship and that relationship and you've just got this big scrambled mess that just keeps you out of the vortex and keeps you activated and keeps yes. activating within you what you don't want so meanwhile over here is your vortex spinning with the most incredible relationship ever ever manageable spinning over here but because you're so focused over here on all of these things that are happening and all of these things that are valid and all of these things that are real that you're holding yourself outside the proximity of your vortex all you'd have to do is just stop doing that just stop doing that just let it go stop doing that now isn't that easier said than done Much clearly clearly <laughs> clearly but that is the work in other words every minute that you're mad you're out of the vortex every minute that you're frustrated you're out of the vortex every minute you're trying to get somebody else to understand what you mean but they can't hear you're out of the vortex it's all wasted life wasted words wasted effort wasted 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 Waste. just get in the vortex 
how could I get in the vortex with what's going on don't think about that but it's important 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 all right think about it and stay out of the vortex you, you got to make being in the vortex matter what you said you said to us I give love but I'm not getting it back go on the vortex there's love there <laughs> the love is in the vortex you see thank you and so what happens a lot of people they find it easier to love others than they do to love themselves almost everybody is that way and we've been saying for a long time if you will find someone to fixate on as your object of attention and just let the love pour through you it'll take you right in the vortex there are so many people who are easy to love Esther looks at these little kids almost any little kid they are so easy to love and then she looks at some adults and she says you're not at all easy to love <laughs> you should be more like that because I'm a lover and I want to love and when you behave like that I can't love so it's your fault you need to be more like that so that I can love and we say don't focus on them focus on them well that doesn't seem fair to use an adorable grandchild as my reason to get in the vortex and let all those people who are rotten off the hook <laughs> I think they should all change. I think they should all be adorable. I think they should be lovable. And we say, good luck on that one. <laughs> it's not their job to please you. It's your job to tone yourself, to tune yourself, to train yourself, to align yourself with who you really are. You see, if you could say to us, if this conversation could go more like this, Abraham, sometimes I use people and their behavior as my excuse not to be in the vortex. Mm. That's a whole different conversation than people need to change so that I can get in the vortex. The same person who you focus on that holds you out of the vortex is the same person who caused you to put a whole lot of stuff in the vortex. So this is the way it commonly goes. This is a very common scenario. So this person harasses you through non-conformance, non-compliance, through bad behavior and causes you to build this don't want that I want that know what I don't want know what I do want know what I don't want know what I do want know what I don't want till you have built the perfect relationship over here in your vibrational escrow so there it is and we know there's lots of good stuff but th this person who sort of harassed you into an improved relationship is now the same person as you're using as your excuse not to be a vibrational match to the improved relationship and that's why it feels extra 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 uncomfortable that person is the reason that you expanded here and now you're using that same person as the reason not to take your own expansion you see you have to make it not about what anybody else is doing and completely about how you're focusing no matter what Esther says, oh, Abraham, I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of it always being me that has to just get in the vortex. I so want to hear from you that they should be better than they are. And we say, but Esther, you have no control over their behavior. You only have control over you getting in the vortex. And so after a while, you'll get into the vortex. And from inside the vortex, you will be so appreciative of everything that they have put you through that caused you to put all of this that you want into the vortex because when you start taking that ride we now think about it think about the relationship that you ask they give you ask they give you ask they give you ask they give that you ask they give and pretty soon you say oh this relationship doesn't do it for me anymore I think I need a relationship of more adventure then there's a relationship you know what you don't want so you know what you do want and then you know what you don't want and you know what you do want and then you know what you don't want and then you know what you do want and then you release your resistance and whoo and you say oh boy is this a good relationship for a minute <laughs> it's your relationship between you and you that you're talking about and everything else is just a reflection of that back to you every person you know has the potential of being so horrible you want to kill them or so wonderful that you want to be with them forever and the part they are showing to you is the part that is active in you and you can blame it on them if you want who knows where it got started most of you spend your life you started it. no you started it. no you started it. no you started it. it doesn't matter who started it we're both right there and we're both out of the vortex
Who's, who's going to be the one to get back in? You say. We agree. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. God bless you.